Hi everyone and welcome to Charles and Ellen YouTube channel. It's out of my comfort a bit. I, I am on Instagram. That's my main social media with my wife, Eileen. I, I really wanted to start YouTube because I, I was thinking I want to help more people to create through embroidery and also different platform and media. Where was the best way to share it? And the one minute limit I had on Instagram was not enough and I was thinking, okay, it's time for us to start a YouTube channel. So lately I've been posting my old piece I did with the sky and also new ones such as this one. And so many people asked me, how do you do it? And I was like, okay, that's the first video of YouTube. I will share you how I'm doing a sky that is inspired of Van Gogh. I really say inspired because it will not be a copy of the sky because I still do it differently. If you really observe what Van Gogh makes, it's, it's different from this type of sky where I, I really mix the color like extremely, where Van Gogh uses maybe more blue and then some touch of yellow and stuff like this. So yeah, I do it a bit differently. That's why I say really inspired. So don't expect to make like the perfect starry night sky of Van Gogh in this video. Just a little presentation for people who don't know me. I'm Charles Henry on Instagram. I'm an embroidery artist and with my wife, Eileen at Petronella.art, we are doing this for a living. We've been traveling for years now around Europe where we stitch it in Paris because that's where I'm from. If you didn't figure out yet that I was French and we've been traveling, doing workshop, physical workshop, also embroidering our environment. That's how we started to get spread on Instagram and, and the journey so far is great. We are doing designs where we share it to you and people can make the design of the, their favorite cities or their favorite building or things like this. And that's how we started. And one day I was like, you know what? I, I want to make some of a contrast on my piece. And one day I decided, okay, I will just do a sky. Obviously like a lot of us like inspired of Van Gogh sky. And I was like, yeah, I, sh I should try it, you know? And I tried this technique and you guys loved it. And I also love it. So I think, yeah, it's a great way to to add something to your piece that is more poppy, you know. To explain you a bit how the video will go, we will have like a video where I show you with a bird eye view. I will give you step by step how I'm, I'm doing. But the goal is, is that not like many of embroidery tutorial, you will not have a rule, you do it like this and it will be like that, that's all. No, actually, I will encourage you to experiment to to really embrace kind of your mistakes you will know why in a, in a couple of minutes if you want to make a painting feeling a painting effect in your embroidery you need to let it go a little you know the stitch doesn't need to be perfectly two centimeters or things like this and doesn't have to be like really like in the place it should be the, the goal here is like to capture the movement with the direction of the stitch and also the selection of colors. That's very important. That's why I will not give you like take this color or this color, you will have to choose. You know what? Let's get directly to the video and learn right now how to do a sky. Okay, to begin, draw your circles and line using carbon paper, pen, or any technique that suits you the best. I choose here to make two circles that connect together. I delicately traced the lines of the direction of my stitches and make sure that your lines are curved. Make your color selection. For the sky, I use two, three shades of blue and two complementary colors, such as yellow and orange here. Here, I will also add purple to accentuate the imaginary side. As you can see on one of my previous pieces, I played on contrast and mix of colors. What will create the movement of your sky will be the direction of your stitch and the amount of color that will change at each part. In this example, I try to keep the same colors and mixtures all over the sky. The only thing that makes the movement of the sky is the direction of my stitches. I think this method is less efficient. The first example is the best and that's what we are going to do today. To get a better idea of what I'm going to mix the colors together, I always start by embroidering the circles, at least one. Then I follow the curve gradually to build my colors.
For the first circle, I will start with a dark blue. I take three strands on the six. I always separate the strands to prevent the thread from curling and create the weird texture. I make two knots and put my thread in the needle. Personally, I do not like to lick my thread, so I prefer the hardest method. Start with the outside, make stitches of about a centimeter. Take a centimeter of space to start your other stitch, embroider as if you were making a snail shape. The closer you get to the center, the smaller stitches you make. Do not be strict on the space between your stitches. Be a bit irregular to give a painting and spontaneous touch to your embroidery. Make a knot in the back using your thread and not the fabric. Continue with your first basic color to make some outside stitch outside the circle. Then take a new color in this case, I take a light blue that I will separate into three strands and do the same principle I showed previously. Find a balance early so you do not put too much or too little of your colors. You must keep some space for your complementary color. After that, it will be time to come back with your blue and to fill the surface. The key to a successful embroidery is to take your time, not to rush. Now it's time to choose your complementary color. For me it will be yellow, free strand. The only difference here is to start embroidering from the middle to the outside to avoid making too much pack knot and avoid this bubble effect. Now you can continue in the same principle outside, being careful to follow the direction of your line. You can vary by adding another blue or a near blue color as the purple show on the example. Don't forget to vary your length and placement of stitches. You don't want your embroidery to be too stiff but on the contrary, you want an effect that is closer to the spontaneity of a painting.
play some touch of yellow, a little scatter, but not too much. Then fill the surface with one of the blues of your choice. You can choose to pronounce the dark blue to separate the sky with different groups of colors. Or you can choose to pronounce light blue as shows on the example. What will create the different contrast of your sky is the amount of color that you choose to highlight. I invite you to look at me on Instagram to take the time to look at how I proceeded for my skies and get inspired. I also filled in the left part as I wanted to do the same color balance here. Now I'm going to do the second circle. The principle remains exactly the same for all the sky. What you will have to decide is the color selection. Feel free to have fun and take unexpected colors. For the bottom of my sky, I will stay on shades of blue with orange to vary a little.
I use the color to make a few touches of orange on the left side to create an harmony and fade between the colors. My color dominance in this circle will be light blue. Now that you know the principle, all you have to do is to try yourself. I will accelerate the process by continuing it by varying my colors and have some fun. And here is the finished sky. As you can see, I separated different parts by highlighting either dark blue or purple, for example. Now you are ready to do your own wonderful sky <laughs> okay guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate that you take the time to watch this video i hope it was fine i mean it's the first time so i'm, I'm new at this and i will learn by making better videos with time i really hope you got the point and if you have any question feel free to send me an email at charles at charlesanelin.com i'm also responding to my message on instagram i try at least the best as i can do don't forget to follow us on charles henry and petronella.art if you want more information about charles and ellen you can simply go to charlesandelin.com and we have an academy with charlesandelinacademy.com where we teach you for long hours how to master the art of embroidery we teach you architectural embroidery embroidery on clothes how to create your own design of embroidery and we have also a great thing that I encourage you to go. It's called Going Nuts. It's a resource library center, which is free, where we give you a first design that is free also of Paris. It's a very special street for us because it's been a street where we met the first time and we've walked through there and Elin decided to make an embroidery of this. And it's a great way to start embroidery and to know if you like it or not. You will see like if you never did embroidery before it's an amazing way to relax to meditate to learn patience observation i really encourage you we have also close-up videos and stuff like this you have everything below in the description and don't forget to subscribe if you can let a like or a comment will be amazing too and i see you next time ciao